Hey guys, Spramper here, and welcome to episode 74 of my Let's Play of Europa Universalis 4 as France. Uh, as you can see here, we are massive, 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 so big. Um, anyways, um, I don't know exactly what we got the last episode, but we have finished colonizing North America. We've almost secured the perimeter of South America, and then of course so we can start colonizing the interior. We might want to secure Africa too, and maybe some more islands over here, perhaps uh, definitely Australia. I'll definitely try to get Australia before the end of the game, but we only have a little bit over 100 years left. Um, or no, less than 100 years left actually, like more around the uh, 70 years, wow. Um, and in that time, what we're going to try to do is, well, we're going to try to integrate Austria, which should be doable. Uh, I believe we can do so in just like a few short nine years. Um, so we'll be able to integrate them. That'll connect our lands here, making the France a little bit bigger, like the, the word France. And then uh, we're gonna declare a bunch of wars on these uh, lower tech groups in China, trying to really re rebuild Ming, take out the Oriet Horde most likely. Uh, maybe beat down the Terminids. I don't know how far we're gonna get down here. I doubt we'll get farther than the Oriet Horde. Um, we might wanna expand here in uh, Vaginagar or um, I don't know. Uh, we're going to be doing a lot of stuff. We're, we're short on Diplo power at the moment. Um, we are at war with two things. We're at war with the Oriat Horde and we're at war with Manchu. Uh, the reasoning behind that is because we're going to vassalize Manchu, which uh, I can't tell right now because we need to wait a little bit till we can send a new diplomat. About a month. Um, but then we're going to release... We're going to vassalize Manchu and then we're going to release all Manchu's cores. And then if we can get anything else back, we're going to release... We're going to take these provinces from... Uh, from the Oriet Horde, and we are going to release them as, not Sibir, but, uh, let me see, this one, Kaza, uh, which is pretty big, I'm pretty sure, right? Yeah, they go all the way down to here, so we can return all those cores to them if they like. Anyways, we're, we're sieging them up right now, so I think who's in charge here? No one, not ours, not us, so let's just move on deeper. Uh, anywhere we're not in charge of the siege, we probably want to move on. Alright, looks like we're good. That was probably the only one. Looks like no guy is taking advantage of the, of the fact that they're at war. Uh, the uh, Oriad Horde is now at war with us, Terminids and the Ottomans, and the guy, which is very weird. It looks like they were actually winning for a second there against the Terminids, because probably they couldn't get military access from Persia, maybe? We'll have to see. Um, here, one second. Let me... Uh... Alright, good. I was just making sure my phone was freaking off, because I keep... Uh, it keeps going off in videos, and I hate it. Anyways, um... Yeah, we're not we're not wasting any more points on diplo power or diplo tech. I think we're just gonna leave it at seventeen probably for the rest of the game because <laughs> we're gonna need it to get all our peace deals. We're gonna want to integrate Netherlands soon. I mean, maybe they'll colonize the entire interior of North America for us. That would be really cool. Um, but maybe not. Maybe maybe we'll just wait for have to wait forever. But I, I doubt it. I'm sure they'll do something soon. We probably want to take out these pirates. Do we? Where's our fleet that was over here? I know we had one. Oh, it must have... I think I sw it swooped around. Yeah. Yeah, here's our fleet that we used to take out those pirates before. So, you come to here, and then to here, and then we'll have them dock over here somewhere in the middle so that they can get to everywhere. But wow, that that's going to look real mighty pretty, that big old France, once we finish all the colonization down here. Alright. Um, okay, so we're ready to go. I already got troops moving and everything. All right, good. Let's uh, let's clear this, um, clear these things out. Do we have anything that we want to do? No, because we really want to keep the better relations over time. Uh, maintain shipping routes. I don't think we really actually wanted to do any of these because we we can't get to 100%. Um, alliance with Sicily. That's stupid. We're gonna try to. We're just gonna rape them. Claim our rivals, Valencia. Um, isn't this? Uh, that's. That's a good mission, but we're not going to do that right now because they're in the coalition, and uh, we just released a bunch of one province miners to reduce the size of the coalition. So hopefully, it's smaller now. It better be. Anyways, all right, let's go here. Up to five speed. I don't care. We lost our trade dispute against uh, against Morocco. That sucks. Trading trading in wine. Ooh, good. We got the minus twenty five thing. Um, Austria's region changes to Protestant. That's okay. We got a bunch of things to do. Uh, Mardoi. Where's that? Where is Mardoi? Isn't that one down here? Mardoi? Alright, let's send in these troops here. And then when they get there, we'll do this thing here. 
And yep, we should easily squash them. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, I probably should have given him the general, but whatever, we won anyways. And we converted some heretics. Yeah, we got a lot of land to convert since we integrated Russia. Uh, <laughs> no, we're still not- we're gonna get rid of that because I'm never gonna do that diplo attack. And it's just gonna be annoying me. Yes, I know we have no mission selected. Oh, Poland? Poland, please tell me we have the same dynasty. No, not yet. But maybe- maybe this time... Regency, royal marriage... Louis with France continues. Wait, what? Oh, so we would we would succeed to the throne, it looks like, if um, on the monarch's death. So, um, that's good. If he dies. How old is he? 22? Oh, he's probably not going to die. He'll probably get an heir. Damn it. Indeed. Uh, what would happen if we claimed their throne? I'm not certain. I, I, think it, I, th I don't think it'll actually do anything if we do this, because... Yeah, if their monarch... their monarch's probably not going to die. And then we'll probably get it anyways. Ooh, we're going to get experienced diplomats, which is going to help us out a lot. Good, let's do that. Just because I know... I know we're going to need a lot of diplo power to uh, to release all these things back from Manchu. But, I mean, we're going to have a while. So, I think that's more important, is getting the next level of tech. Because, yes, we need to we need to finish off this tech. I know that, that the diplomatic relationship is nice. But it's more this causes belly against all the advanced lesser nations in Asia. Which is what I want. Wait, what was that? What happened? It said something was over. The siege was over or something. Is this the Oriat Horde? Why are they here? Oh yeah, this siege was over. I can't believe I couldn't see that from like a million miles away. Uh, okay, we're, I guess we're losing mercantilism. Changes to reformed, okay. Let's go to... Oh, Siege of Sabir is over. Good, good. All these sieges are finishing up at the right times. Now let's move these guys there just to scare them from coming. Good, and then we can fight them. Coast of California. Oh, good. We killed all the boats. Yay, all the pirates are gone. And we can convert another thing back from Reformed. It's uh, it's really stupid. They just keep coming up that they're switching, and uh, that's it. They just switch, and it's like, we can put them back easily, but there's so many of them switching. It's kind of annoying. Anyways, let's... let's uh, can we get a leader? How many do we have? We have four leaders. Where's our... where the hell are all those leaders? Okay, you don't need to be here. We uh, we got all our troops in position to take out all the uh, all of our one province miners that we released, or well not take them out but re reintegrate them once their treaty runs out, which I believe we have a few years. It's like forty seven, so next year maybe. Anyways, and uh, actually let's put on force march just so that we know we'll catch them and we can just end them right here. And uh, I guess they're gonna retreat probably. Oh wow, we actually just squished them instantly. So, uh, take off Force March, split up, split up, and then uh, you guys split up too. Okay. Those armies should be just big enough that they're not going to warrant any sort of special attention from the our Oriat Horde friends. And it looks like we're also ready to do another Protestant back to Catholic. Yay! Oh, and we can get an actual tech. Okay, um, hmm. Well, it is minus five because of neighbor bonus. I don't know. Uh, we should probably check out our cardinals. I bet you... Oh, no, good. We have all of... <laughs> we don't have anybody just sitting around? Oh, we can't actually go anywhere. We can only go to the ones occupied by them. Ooh, interesting. Alright, let's move one of these troops up north. Or forward, you know, just pressing the sieges. Oh, wow. We actually get a lot of diplo power per month. I forgot. We have, we have nine per month. That's really good. Argan's over. This is just like fighting one of the people in Africa. They're terrible. I Like, this is just a cakewalk. I could probably break up any more. So where do we gain? Oh good, we gained a core province there. Uh, we probably have some more to do. Oh no. Barcelona's almost done and our, our colonies haven't finished yet, so... Okay. Let's, uh, let's start rounding up our forces. Because, uh, we're gonna want to start colonizing the interior here. And uh, since how much money are we making? We have way too much money right now, so let's go. Let's go ahead and just go crazy on colonies. All right, recall all of our colonists because we're gonna send them all out. All right, we just have to wait one day. All right, now we're gonna send them to the closest ones here, just so that they can quickly come back. All right, now this army is split in half. All right, and then we need to send them here. Right, one. 
two, three. Is that the right one? Crap. <laughs> I thought I did not send him to the right place. Oh, well, I'll just move the guy over. Siege of Vitali is over. Good. Just keep on moving. Steamroll them all. Uh, Lithonian Order wants an alliance. I think we can just, um... Will it let us vassalize them? No, because they're not the right marriage. But we could just declare war on them. We could get a claim on them and then uh, vassalize them. So let's do that. Let's send one of our diplomats because we have like four free. Let's fabricate a claim on... Uh, what's this northern one? Norova? Norova? My god, we have just so much control. <laughs> we get, we integrated Finland too. My god, everything is so good. How many... In are we integrating anybody right now? Yeah, we're actually integrating uh, Brandenburg. Brandenburg, or is that, um, no, Brunswick. Sorry, there are all these B names in northern Germany. How can how can you not get them confused? Do we, do we have any Han patriots here? Covert actions, nope, no rebels here. Oh, there's rebels here. Tibetan patriots, but I want Han patriots, damn it. So that you can come back to my vassal Ming. But I don't think it works that way. I only think it works like to get them to revolt to Shun, and then once they're there, they can't go back. Uh, what's our st our stability is at three? I don't think we have anything else we we're going to spend this admin power on. So let's go ahead and just buy the next level of tech, I guess. And uh, you guys, how about you both split in half and uh, send one of you there, and then one of you down here, and that should be all of their provinces almost. And uh, let's see if we can actually, uh, if we can, actually annex them. No, they're actually 232s. So we can make them release Korea, though. Hmm. Which would probably put them to be able to be vassalized if we made them release Korea. And then we can go and attack Korea ourselves and make them both vassals. And we can make them revoke their cores, too. But I think all we're going to do is do Korea, and that'll be it. And then we can fight Japan for all these Korean cores. And I wonder if we can get them to release with our religion or something. That'd be cool. Oh well. How's our colonists doing here? Oh good, they have not gotten, none of them have gotten there yet. Alright. Siege of Nadam is over. So it looks like what we're going to do is just get as many territories as we can from the northern part of the Oriat Horde instead, because we can't vassalize Manchu yet. Is it Manchu or Manchuria? Manchu. A peace offer from the Oriat Horde. Uh, <laughs> decline? Oriat Horde? Uh, are you stupid? You know I'm going to like try to take everything, right? I wonder if we can make them flip to Catholic, because then we could probably just vassal. <laughs> no, apparently we don't have enough base tax to freaking vassalize them, so that's stupid. Can we actually make them convert to, um... No, we can't even make them convert. Isn't this a French crusade? Like, why not? Why can't we make them convert? That's stupid. Oh well. Who are their allies? Don't they have... Do they have... Oh, Georgia and Tibet? Yeah, big allies. <laughs> Is Tibet big enough, small enough to be vassalized? Oh no, they're a vassal under who? Of oh, the Oriad Horde, okay. Oh, so we're, no, we're actually just fighting Manchu by themselves. What about Georgia? Can we vassalize Georgia? Where is Georgia? Isn't it like this little tiny thing right here? Does Georgia have any cores? No, they don't have any cores. I already checked. These guys would vassalize. <laughs> I don't think they have any cores anywhere, though, of interest. Sure, no guy, you can have military access. Mm, did we get the control of the siege? Yes, we did. All right, good. So we can get to 100% with Oriat Horde. Right, I am disappointed. Hmm, maybe if we, um, maybe if we rival Manchu, it could do it. Nah, I don't think it would matter. All right. Um, let's send one more guy down here to just finish up the sieges. Oh, okay. Oh God, we got, probably got some people to move along here. Yeah, you move on down there, because we already got people gone. Oh, and then we, here's our 50,000 men coming in to help. Let's start splitting them up here. Alright, this should be enough to just finish off the Oriat Horde. Oh, crap. Ah, wrong button. Alright, 7,000 there, 7,000 there, 7,000 there, 7,000. To take out these Confucian Zealots, should be plenty. I'm pretty sure the rebels have the same tech level as the uh, people they've revolted against. I'm not sure. 
We can only send in more troops though, because we got plenty nearby. And then uh, let's split up these guys. And um, we'll drop. We'll leave two. Oh, that was both of the, both of the ones up there. There we go. All right, one down here, and one down here. Anuli is over. Good. Okay. Ooh, 24 of more random ducats. I don't want them, though. It doesn't matter. We have so much money. We have 15,000 ducats. It's just, like, too much. Too many ducats. How many, um, how much money are we still making? Probably a lot, right? Because we, like, own every colony ever. Uh, 130, so we can probably afford to do some more colonies, definitely. Do we have uh, more troops up here? Yes, we do. Alright, um, whoa. How do we have so many troops? That is a lot of troops. Um, alright, you guys come down here and just meet up so that we can spread you out. Oh god, we need a diplomat or something, right? No good, it was just our... I was like, no, our statesman died. Let's get the uh, force limit modifier. And we're going to send another missionary. And apparently we have another mission or something. Yeah, I guess... Let's take this Valencia thing, because we can uh, we can easily probably take that eventually from them. Let's, uh... What are all our troops do doing, like, in here? I, I don't remember making these. Did they get, like... Oh, these must have been extra. Like, these guys on the border down here are probably extra from when we took them down there. Oh. Alright, our sieges are... What, what's happening here? Oh, we don't have enough men. Okay, there's not enough men in the entire world. Uh, whatever, we'll just let them duke it out. Oh no, native rising. Don't say it's so. Oh, what? Wow, we have actually a bunch of colonies just randomly up here. So we need some men to stay behind. We have one, two provinces up here. So let's send you guys to there, and then you guys up there. Because there's probably hardly any people. Yeah, there's like only... Yeah, and then that's our final colony, so good. Hurry up, colonists, and get there so that I can recall you and we can just go wreck face. Oh, another uh, another thing. Sorry. Ottomans have declared war on Byzantium for like the millionth time. I think this is like their last territory. Oh, poor Ottomans. I mean Byzantium. They're going to go to bye-bye now. Wow, I can't believe they lasted till 1747. That's really impressive. Yeah, I want you to null treaties with Morocco. Totally, that's what I want. No, uh, no, I want you to freaking bow to me. Sieges are over. Good. No, no, sorry. We're taking everything we can from you. I don't think you understand. Where the hell are all our freaking leaders? I know they're like doing nothing. Okay, that's the only guy that's actually doing something. And then this guy here, he's doing nothing. Oh, they're already occupying Georgia for us. Nice. Alright, so no leader. You guys can actually probably just head back. Oh, well, that's not France. Here we go. How about we just have them head back to Paris? Now that I got their leader. And can we send him... Where's our, where's our fat thing that we were attacking? Uh, since we occupy this territory, we can do this. Um, let's put on... Uh, force march, and hopefully we can catch them. Looks like the Oriad Horde thinks they're gonna try to fight me, but nope. Oh no, we died. Our Cardinal died. We need to steal this one from Netherlands now. We only have 500 influence. It's like, oh, I don't, I don't think we're gonna make it. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, uh, sure, Byzantium. You may have military access. I'm not a prude when it comes to military access. Let's start sending in more troops down there to help um, with those sieges. And uh, we need to go in advance on this, the final part of their army. Good, we won. What's good about this is that we're going to be able to fight Uzbek next and uh, no guy, and then we'll make them into vassals. Should we make them vassals or probably just annex them? I don't think it would really make a difference. Oh, we could probably just annex them and sell them to the, uh, the this guy here, the um, Kahazan. Kahazan. Oh, are you serious? They got released already? Oh, frick. That's, that really sucks. Come on. Why would you do that? 
Now we need to um, declare a war on them with no cost as Bali. That's fine. We're only going to take a two stability hit and get some aggressive expansion with Oriet Horde. Who cares about Oriet Horde? All right, we needed to we needed to do that because we need to vassalize them now. It should just be really quick. Brandenburg changed to reform. That's okay. Uh, sorry, Georgia. I think we're taking you as a vassal or something. And we're gonna convert another thing from Protestant. Yay! Let's uh, let's take these guys out here. Oh, they're they're stuck. Let's see. It looks like they're gonna force march into our own territory. That's not a good idea. Baravia is gonna come rape you. No Orient Horde. Damn, that kind of sucks that we lost our two. We lost two stability. And now we have to freaking siege these idiots. Good. At least we can uh, turn off Force March. Oh, good. This is gonna be a fast siege. Thank God. I forgot they have no like forts or anything. All right. And then we'll send the other half to just hang out there. Good. Uh, nope. Morocco and the Ottomans. Ooh, I definitely want that. Just kidding. All right, good. Our sieges are finishing. We're getting up there with the Oriad Horde, I believe. No, that's uh, Manchu, rather. Manchu has a nice flag. Isn't that the same flag that the uh, Chinese use in Victoria too? Maybe they. Maybe Manchu is the victorious one. Mm, I don't know. Gotle is over. Good. Um, all right, let's, uh, let's see if we can't stop Nogai from getting any freaking sieges. Right, how about you guys come here and here. We need to definitely occupy their capital. Isn't that like our war goal? Is that to occupy the capital? No, it's just we need to win enough battles, and we definitely won every single freaking battle. And we just smashed a few more armies, so yeah, definitely won all the battles. And look, we have plenty of military diplo power, rather. That's fine. Some revolt here. An alliance offer from Poland? Mm, I don't know. I mean, we do have a royal marriage with them already, but... Alright, fine, I'll accept... Even though it's gonna hurt me later, I know it, but it's okay. And these are Korean nationalists. Don't worry, Korea. I'm gonna release you very shortly. Orient Horde will see you. See you. No. I don't think Orient Horde is, knows what we want, so they probably can't give us what we want. But we can convert another Orthodox. Yay! Orthodox. Oh, Kaz is done. So, um, French vassal, please. All right, good. All right, now we're gonna do. Um, now we're gonna set Oriet Horde as a rival. The reason why we're doing this is because it's gonna be really cheap them to annex them and stuff. We also want to set Manchu as a rival, so we're gonna get rid of the Ottomans for a second, and uh, we're gonna set it as Manchu instead, because then it'll be cheaper to piece them out as well. Thirty-three percent cheaper, actually. I think. I don't know if it applies to everything, but it does apply to some things. So, hey. Ooh, we got some revolts up here. Hmm. All right, what are we gonna do about that? You guys know what we do about that. We go ahead and destroy them. Will four thousand do? Yes, definitely. All right, and then we can just we can just come back after you've murdered them all. Good. Um. So how close? Are, ooh, we're at like eighty-six with the Oriad Horde. Good. Um. So what do we want to do with you, Oriad Horde? Will you take my release Korea thing? All right, that's all we're going to ever get out of them anyway, so let's do it. Then in a few years, when our truce runs out, we will uh, go back and uh, vassalize both of them. And we probably don't want to run there. <laughs> back into back into Manchu. No. Uh, all right, those guys are taking care of something, so I'll just let them be do their work. And uh, these guys that are just going to stand there, you're coming with me. Good. All right, Korea's free. What did Korea's religion flip to? I figured they'd be Buddhist, but I didn't know. All right, so yeah, they got a they've got a thing against us. Hopefully, Japan's not Buddhist. Are you Buddhist? Good. They're no, they're Shinto, which is like the only. I think they're the only Shinto religion in the whole game. So it's like, you, good luck vassalizing anyone ever. Can't even vassalize your stupid tech group. But anyways, what do we want from the Oriets? 
We want to give everything back to not Manchu, not Kaza. Yo, oh, yes, this one. Here we go. Whoa! Sorry, I think I had some other things under here. The Mongol Kahante. Ooh, I forgot about them, but we don't want them yet. We can just feed those guys to Manchu, I'm pretty sure. So let's make them give back everything we can to the Kaza. Yeah, these are pretty cheap. And it only costs 33 Diplo power. Good. Alright, that's their entire country back. They should love us eternally. As soon as we get enough Diplo power, which is just should be in like four or five months, we'll totally do this. And then we have actually some extra, so we probably want to just grab this province here and sell it to them. Uh, lose some navy tradition? Yeah, sure. Good. Alright, we'll close this for now and then uh, send some troops there. Siege is over, siege is over. Wanted to convert. How about that? Alright, is are they gonna give me what I want? I'm pretty sure they're the only one. Nope, a peace offer from Georgia. Sorry, but Georgia. I think we're gonna take you as a vassal. We can either fully annex you or take you as a vassal. Fully annexation gives us a bunch of negative aggressive expansion. Um not that. No, no, no. French Vassal gives us only 15, and it's just with these morons around. Oh, the Ottomans are going to hate us. Whatever. We already hate them. And, um, revoke your cores on these. Maybe that'll help them. I don't know. No, ooh, actually, you have cores there? Sweet. We can get those back for you and then integrate you. All right. We'll send that demand there. We have a bunch of, actually, Diplo relations. That should put us exactly at 10 and 10. Oh, 10 and 11. Hmm. Okay, that sucks. But whatever, we can integrate them in 10 years and that's oh, gone. Nobody cares anymore. <laughs> Alright, good, 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 good. We're getting our sieges. Are we ready to go to war with for all these little crappy things? Oh no, but we need a bunch of Diplo power now. We need a bunch more. But we should probably start going to war with these little guys before the um before they decide that they don't that they want to ally with people and make my world a big headache. And we also need the, Mal the Malta. Okay, so um, as soon as they get back, we, we need to declare, declare like one war every month. And I'll just start from bottom to top, getting all of our cores back. All right. Um, ooh, we can do another defensive idea. All right, how many years ahead are we in military tech then? We're still we're 12 years ahead. Okay, uh, let's take another defensive idea. Yeah, and this is this is what we wanted. It was the 25% more morale of armies. That's ridiculously overpowered. Our diplomat has arrived. Good. All right, declare war on Sicily. Poland doesn't want to come. Oh, but Poland, I need your help. Just kidding. I'm gonna rape them. Bye bye, Cecily. Good thing we don't need Diplo power to declare war. Alright, let's get these guys in the boats. We'll declare war on Malta next, or the Knights rather, whatever we. As soon as we can. Declare war to take war on Malta. Oh, Poland still doesn't want to come. And it uh, looks like we're going to fight their stupid navy, which has had absolutely no, um... Oh, that's Sicily's navy, rather. Okay, we should... Yeah, we just destroyed them. Good. Um, and let's transport our ships onto Malta. Kind of sucks that we didn't get to instantly go, but whatever. Some revolts in Kazan. What? Is there even a core for you still here, Kazan? No, I guess there is. Alright, fine, you go kill them. Kill them all. Did we ever finish off those rebels up there? Yes, we did. Nice. Alright, Oriat Horde, are you ready? Oh no, there are we knew they were ready, but um We need to save up our diplo power. It's kinda of the name of the game now, just save, save, save. Alright. These ships we're gonna put them back in the dock there just in case the uh Sicily or somebody decides that they wanna siege us or something or send more ships. For no damn reason. Uh, let's recall, 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 and then we're gonna split up forces here. And here. And here. Alright, those three territories we'll do next. The reason why we're putting them so close is because they'll come back in time or quickly. This province is not land adjacent to any of our cores. Okay, fine, I'll just put it over here then. We'll have one little blight of not colonized by us. 
It's okay. We'll just do it as soon as we get the cores there. Do we have any cores ready? Nope. None of our colonies are ready. We can boost our stability up, right? No, but we have so much overextension and it's probably going to go away soon. Yeah, we only need like a day or two left till we can get it. Alright, now Corsica, you're next. Alright, and we'll stop there just for now to, um... So that we don't declare any too, too many wars, you know, because we're kind of trying to get our peace deal over here, which is only which is just going to take us another three months or so to get three four months. It should be really fast, so I'm just going to let it go. Zoom, 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 zoom. We stopped trying to improve relations with Frankfurt. Apparently, uh, how's Frankfurt? Do they love us yet? You love us? You want to be my? You want to get integrated? Good. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, no, <laughs> that's not happening. Uh, sure, Ottomans, you can have military access. Not like I don't hate you or something, or ooh, you hate us. Siege is over. Yeah, we're just rape and rape, rape, rape. All these people are gonna die. Siege of Alexa is over. Okay, good. Um, doesn't really matter anymore. Our siege is over here. Just as long as they don't siege it back, you know. But uh, I'm pretty sure they're willing to take anything that we'll give them, just because we're kind of really giving it to them. Uh, ooh, 237, is that enough? I think we needed 239. 70? Oh no, that's everything. 231. Alright, so is there any other stuff that's free that you want to do? Releasing nations is free, apparently. Make them release Sibir? What about this one? Oh, this little stupid one down there? Why don't we do that? It'll make them easier to deal with later. And then we can always, um... I don't know if we should just take it, though. Does it cost? Oh, it costs. It costs too much for us to take it. But this is all free, so let's do that. And then we got a bunch of Diplo power that we need anyway for the other wars, so we'll do that. Boom! Look at that. That's our vassal right there. Yay! Oh, crap. I think we gave... Some, did we get this, give this shit back to Nugai on accident? Oops. <laughs> oh, well, I guess Nagai kind of likes us now. Oh, we only returned two provinces, these two, here, I believe. Or wait, this one and this one, I think, because it kind of reunited their territory. But whatever, these guys love us so much. Return territory is plus 200. That means we could easily annex them in two years. But too bad we can't, uh, we can't do them. Anyways. We're gonna leave some army over here just to do sieges, but um, other than that, we're gonna probably take them all home. Now that our wars are done here, let's just try to select them all. Oh, we need to be a little bit closer, a little closer, a little closer, a little closer, a little closer. Oh my god, it must be so annoying to play like as the Oriet Horde because it's like you can't even grab all your armies in one fell swoop. All right, let's just have them. Let's just have them all meet up here. And then we can sort them out, because <laughs> it's, it's just going to be too much to deal with if they're all next to each other. Anyways, that's probably going to about do it for this episode, guys. I think we're going to go ahead and declare war on Galicia. Or Galicia. I don't know how you want me to pronounce that. And declare war on them, move in there, and just wreck them. Um, and then all we have left to do, if I'm not mistaken, is Northumberland, or not Northumberland, but um, Wales, uh, Cornwall, Ulster, and Leinster. Or Connaught and Leinster. So, yeah. Anyways, thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I think, I, I think I'm think i doing a pretty good job. So, uh, let's see how it goes. I mean, I really, really want to get rid of all this crap up here so France can be, like, super massively, just massive France up there. <laughs> all right. See you later. Spam pray out.